I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Hubbard's ability can give you fits. When you're a defensive coach right now and you're out here and you know he's on his home field where he's comfortable, he can be a nightmare. Brad, I'm with you. I mean, watching this guy this year, he seems to almost be a different guy when he plays at home. I mean, he's very talented and he does a good job on the road. But when he's at home, uh, I don't know if it's this crowd or if he's more comfortable in, in this surrounding, but he seems to play at a different level. And again, this is able to just, I think, get going early. And I think at that point, that's when this offense really starts to crank up. He's on the run. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. Sanders picks up about four yards after pulling the ball down and scrambling there. He's tackled at the 47. Complete for six yards, and that's good for a first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. From their own 43-yard line, second down, empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. And he's immediately tackled. They come out in a five-wide set. Let's it fly. It's picked off. Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. From their own 28-yard line, first down. And he hits him hard at the 22. yard line. He's at midfield. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's out of bounds around the 42-yard line. And he's level at 
the 46. Loss of four on the play. That makes it third and 11. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Three down, three down. Hey, well, Mike 40, Mike 40. Hey, hey. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. Well, the defense has done their job and made a nice stand. Now let's see if the special teams can come up with something here as well. Oklahoma State could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away. No good. He hooked it left. Every time you have a chance to finish a drive with points, you've got to capitalize. That time, they couldn't come through. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Hands it to the back. Nice run, and he's brought down. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guy's hands. They're about four yards away here on third down. Here we go, Jack. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, this is just a defensive battle so far, Kirk. Well, it's a combination of a couple things, Brad. I think the defenses are playing well, but I think the offenses at this point are making it a little bit easier for them. So let's see if these offenses can get it going a little bit to try to challenge these defenses. Five wide. And he's tackled at about the 17-yard line. Call it a loss of three yards on the way. That brings up second and 13. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He makes his way out to about the 25. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down at the 39. Steps out around the 43-yard line. Tackle made at the 45. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. They come out on an empty backfield. He scrambles. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he's taken down around the 37-yard line. That makes it second and two. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And down he goes around the 28-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28. Carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the 21-yard line. So at the end of one, this one's scoreless. Even first quarter as we head into quarter number two. Three down, three down. Here we go. Red 
And off, and he won't make it. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. It's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Oklahoma State is looking to go up by three. It's up, and it's good. He didn't make it by much, but it counts. That certainly wasn't the best kick of his career, but it did do the job. Like Brad said, it counts. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Here's an opening. He gets to about the 41-yard line. This is one of their special plays they like to call to keep the defense off balance. When you can get first downs in unconventional ways, you have the edge over your opponent. And he tackles him hard at the 44-yard line. That makes it second and six. Run play and he'll lose yards. They couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage on that one. I don't think they did a very good job of selling the pass. The defense was able to read the play and come right in there and make a nice stop. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Here we go. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled at the 48. He really got a hold of that one. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Oklahoma State is up by three. Throws complete. He's got space to work. To the 20. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. Now he's scrambling. Him down in the backfield. That's a loss of three yards. That makes it third and goal. The defense has really held their own the last two plays. Now it's third and goal from the seven. And he is drilled at the three yard line. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. McClure gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. for a loss. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved them back.
It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Over the middle to his tailback. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Two minutes to go in the half. Gets out to about the 42-yard line. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail-biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he just gets rid of it. Second and ten. Ball on the 42. Oklahoma State is up by six. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Bring him down for a sack on the play. Loss of seven yards on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Fourth and long here after the sack. Jamison, the return man. goes over the goal line and this will be a touchback in a game that's this close you can't afford to waste possessions and here's a quick throw and it's intercepted He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. Oklahoma State up six. Makes it out to about the 23. The draw play to the running back gives him eight or nine yards. Oklahoma State's going to take their first time out of the half. He's going to try and scramble, and they get the sack. They've been all over this quarterback today. The pass protection has got to do a better job, but give this defense some credit. They've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and to cause him some problems. And that sets them up for the first and goal. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He's hit immediately. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's wrapped up for the sack. Oklahoma State's out of timeouts. Third down now and goal to go. 
Ball on the seven-yard line. The kick is up, and he's got it. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. 9-0, Cowboys. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. It is my job to come in and rain on a parade. I know, every, I know everything's gone right. I know they have all the momentum. I know that every little detail of the game plan has gone exactly as scripted. But but <laughs> overconfidence, too happy, too satisfied. How big a problem is that in the second half? But you always you always have the excitement coming into the first half of a ball game, and you think it's going to be close when teams like this are evenly matched. But that doesn't mean you can lose your edge. That doesn't mean you can get complacent. A lot of times we see passion and energy in the first half, and it starts to wither away. they got to make sure that they keep the energy up, continue to make plays, don't think that you're that you're there because we've seen momentum switch like that. As soon as somebody flips a switch, it's hard to get it going back in the other direction. So you got to take advantage of these opportunities. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cowboys continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Around the 24-yard line. Here's the halfback. The back gets three on the carry. He got right in there and popped the ball carrier. This senior just doesn't back down from anyone. He's got the corner. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. Nice run to the left there. That brings him second and five. They'll run it inside and tackle quickly. Two times, two times. And he's going to be sacked. Great play by the defense. Ooh, that time they came with the blitz and the linebacker was able to get free and come away with the sack. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Fielded at the 19. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. For Texas, they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. Good pass rush by these guys today. They also have that one takeaway. This offense hasn't done a good job of moving the ball either. Well, when your overall average is less than four yards of play, that's the definition of struggling. This defense has got to keep the pressure on. They don't want to allow another score. So we're just about ready to return to action. the grab and he's got the first. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. 
He makes it to the 48-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Quick pass, and they make the stop at the 49-yard line. That'll make it third and nine. Short pass, middle of the field. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line. He's on the run. Brought down at the 29-yard line. Makes the second goal. That's a game of five on the way. That makes it second and six. Check three, check three, check three. Watch the out, watch the out. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Gets to about the five-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down to the ground. Touchdown, Cowboys. They'll go for two in this situation. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. He scrambled. He's got the two. A nine-play, 67-yard drive, and they add eight to the scoreboard after that successful two-point conversion. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The score now, 17-0. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they've prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. Oh, big hit. He's going to lose yardage. And they'll lose a yard there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 24. As a man, he'll lose big yards. A loss of about six. So that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Coming and they're going to come after this one. And he just got stood up right there. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. 
The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has... Fumble! Picked up by the linebacker. And down he goes at the 36. So after the mishap, we've got first down going the other way. Often, you'll see this from a playmaker. He tried to do a little bit extra and ended up losing the ball. It's a nice play by the defense to recover that ball. Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. From the 39-yard line, it's second down. Bring him down around the 41 yard line. Boss is out to the tailback on the screen. He's tackled at the 36 yard line. We head to the fourth. The Cowboys lead it by 17. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. He airs it out. This one's intercepted. It's the junior safety. The quarterback has made some really careless throws, but you got to also give credit to the defense for being able to clean up the mess and create the turnovers. First and ten. Ball on their own six. Got a man and it falls to the ground. Anderson was the intended receiver on the play. Pass complete and taken down immediately. First down grab by the receiver. Sacked for a loss. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. He's out to the 30. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle at the 33. Got an opening. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. out to his wideout, and he's tackled right away. He guns it to the right, and they intercept it. The junior safety. Hey, 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 hey. Get him. Let's go. Wait a second. 
So the turnover will once again give the ball back to this offense. That's two interceptions today by this defense. Their coach has to be happy that they're forcing turnovers. From their own 32-yard line, first down. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Throws incomplete, intended for his wide outs. So the officials taking a look at this play to see if the receiver got a foot in bounds. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. So the referee is going to take a look at several angles. Now remember, he's seeing the same thing we are, and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call. Well, they get it right after the review. They call it a catch, and play will continue. After positive yardage. That's a game of six on the play. First down. Let's go. 180. Why? Check, check. Box two. Now he's scrambling. He's taken down at about the 49. Scrambling, looking for the corner, diving for extra yardage. A five-yard quarterback scramble. Less than three minutes in the game. Throws it in a hurry. To the 20. He's pushed out of bounds at the 18. Boy, where has this been? You know, that's great to see this offense make a big play, but... Well, you look at a little over two minutes to go in this game, and they're down big. Would have loved to have seen that earlier in the game. He's going to try and scramble, and they got him. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. This is the 10th play of this drive. Fires out to his receiver. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. Wide open receiver, and it's incomplete. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. come away with six, Kirk. And Brad, I got to tell you, that's not an easy thing to do there. The defenses nowadays are so tough when you get inside the red zone. And he tacks on the extra point. So a nine play, 59 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Free kick, kick out, out of bounds. bounds. Kicking, Kicking team. So the offense will take over with pretty good field position. The onside Still kick just down. wasn't successful there. The kicker really didn't give his guys a chance to make a play. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 14-yard line. From the 14-yard line. 
First down. Just under two to go in the game. He lost the ball. It's recovered. They've got to be happy after recovering that fumble. Yeah, because a play like that gets the defense right back into the game. You'll probably see him get real conservative now. They'll go with the run once again. Gets to about the 11-yard line. Texas will have one timeout remaining. From the 11-yard line, it's third down. Here's the give, and he is drilled at the nine. The Longhorns using their third and final timeout. He gets it up, and he's got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. At the 30. And he's taken down at the 36. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. Now you're getting into pretty desperate time. You've got to be going for the end zone and just hope you can recover the onside kick. I'm sure that touchdown on their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. And I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. From their own 36-yard line, second down. Quick strike to the receiver, and they make the stop at the 30-yard line. He's brought down in the open field. Makes it second and two. And he stops the clock with a spike. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Just over a minute left. knocked out immediately after the catch. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Fires quickly. Touchdown. Big pass play for the score, and we're down to a one-score game. And he adds the extra point. Oklahoma State's moved the ball at will offensively, but they can't put this thing away. No, but they do have the lead here, so this game is definitely theirs to lose. So not a lot of time left, and they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. From the 46-yard line, second down. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. So this one goes final. A hard-fought close game. 2014 Cowboys. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.